Hi, I'm Sony Artist of Imagery, Tony Gale, and today I'm going over five tips for using speed lights. Tip number one would be to get a speed light with a built-in radio, like this one. Having a radio allows you to use the flash off camera more easily, to use multiple flashes more easily, and it just gives you a lot more flexibility. Tip number two, a lot of people know about using a vertical bounce to get a softer light with your speed light. I prefer a horizontal bounce if there's a light colored wall. It gives a more flattering light, you avoid the raccoon eyes. It's a little more directional, I find it to be more flat. Tip number three, think about your shutter speed. Your shutter speed won't really impact the speed light's output, but it will impact the ambient light. So do you want to see the room light in the background? Go with a longer shutter speed. Do you want only the flash to be lighting your subject, go with the shorter shutters. Tip number four, rechargeable batteries will usually allow your speed light to recycle faster. Plus you won't have to keep buying new batteries, throw them away, buy new ones, throw them away. You can keep a charger with you and if you have a set of batteries, always keep one going and always be ready. Tip number five, get a second, third, fourth speed light. Having an extra speed light allows you to add some visual interest. You can have some fill light from your camera, your main light off camera, something to light the background, all sorts of interesting things that are difficult to do without that extra light. Hopefully those tips were helpful. If you want to learn more about me, you can find me at TonyGale.com, at TonyGalePhoto on Instagram. If you want more tips on speed lights, or if you have a tip, because I only gave five and there's way more than that, put it in the comments below.